Antes de venir aquí de la entrevista estábamos, este, hemos estado escuchando el, el, el nuevo disco nuevamente, Portamento, eh, y siento que hay un cambio considerable en, en la banda, hay, una, hay, un, hay un cambio bien importante. ¿Cómo han tomado ustedes esto? ¿Cómo fue el proceso de evolución de, del primer disco a este disco que sacaron el año pasado? I think Portamento is just, uh, it was a really natural progression from the first album. I think the biggest difference is when we made the first album, we had finished most of it before we knew anyone would ever hear it, you know, and we were just, we didn't have a record label and nobody knew about our band and we were just kind of making songs in our bedroom, uh, and those are the songs that were on the first album. Uh, so with Portamento we knew that people were going to hear it, uh, so we really wanted to dig deeper uh, and really have it reflect who we are as individuals, who we are as a band, uh, and just kind of what we were going through. So it's, uh, you know, the album is much more based in reality. Uh, the first, the debut album was much more whimsical and dreamlike, uh, so Portamento was kind of the here and now. Hay una densidad especial en este nuevo disco también, incluso me hace, o sea, no sé si sea gratuito, que al mismo tiempo hay otros artistas como John Mouse, como Grimes, por ejemplo, que también están buscando como que regresando a esos a ese lado quizá menos visitado de los 80s. Um we were definitely influenced by that sort of what was happening over there at the time of that sort of music. Um, and we also kind of think that it wasn't completely explored to its full potential, you know, it's such a Um, but it's also such a um, such a sound that it, it, that you can explore it and you can kind of combine it with other things and 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 just keep going forward with it. Um, and a lot of the bands that we've met from that time, the late '70s and the early '80s, we're friends with a lot of those guys: Edwin Collins from Orange Juice and uh, Mike from The Smiths and. Wake and a bunch of those bands and altered images. Altered images. Uh, so, and they they think of us the same way. You know, it's nice to meet those those people who kind of started the whole thing, and they don't view us as like a rip off or anything like that. They view us as like a band that's kind of just moving forward with that tradition. And it's a really nice. Um, it's really encouraging to to hear that from them and know that they feel that way. You know, it, it kind of it validates what we're doing and and kind of lets us know that we're on the right track. And I think at the end of the day, we're not trying to rip off anyone else. I think we were just born with sort of the same sensibilities and the same, uh, you know, there's certain people that have the same taste really and are drawn toward the same things, you know, and we like really kind of beautiful, sad, but happy sounding pop songs, you know, and those bands obviously liked that too, you know. ¿Qué cosas extraña? O sea, él ha dicho que, que The Drums es una música nostálgica y melancólica. Entonces, eh, ¿qué cosas son las cosas que extraña, digamos, The Drums? ¿Has dicho eso? No sé. No sé si realmente me gusta algo. Creo que me gusta tener un poco más de sorpresa y curiosidad sobre el mundo. Creo que estar en una banda y touring tanto como lo hacemos. Uh, there's very few places that we haven't seen. Uh, very, I, I think we've met every type of person. Uh, uh, we've gone through every sort of experience, so there's not as much wonder uh, as there used to be. So maybe that's something I miss, just sort of being a little bit more naive about the world. Uh, uh, so I think that sort of feeling kind of finds its way into the songs, you know. Um, But I think every album we do will just have, whether whether our hearts are broken or not, and they'll, we'll have heartbreak songs just because we really love them. It, sad songs are, I think, to us the most beautiful of songs, you know, and sad in it, really. Uh, and so we, we just can't really get away from that. Yeah. I think we're excited. 
I, we've never been here before, uh, and that's a rare thing. It's rare to go somewhere now and have not already been there at least once. So it's exciting for us, um, and we actually have a few days here, so we'll be able to see some of the city, um, and that's really nice. So much of touring is actually not seeing anything, being inside of a tour bus or in an airplane or in a hotel room or a backstage, but. There's so many places we go that we aren't even don't even have time to walk down the street. Uh, so it's nice to be here and be able to, and everyone we've met so far has been really nice. There's good vibes. It feels nice. It looks like a nice place, and there's a lovely polka dot dress right there. So you know, you know, <laughs> we're in a good area. <laughs> <laughs>